Hey guys, Brad from Roto Heat, back at it with another player breakdown. Uh, now that we have the news that Big Ben's going to be done most likely for the year, we wanted to update you on, on Mason Rudolph and we want to talk about what to expect from the um, heir apparent. You know, obviously we saw a couple weeks back when Jacksonville was in need of a backup for Gardner Minshew, uh, Pittsburgh was willing to trade a guy that they were they were pretty fond of in Joshua Dobbs. Now obviously Mason Rudolph had already jumped ahead of him. Uh, the former third round pick, the 2018 third round pick out of Oklahoma State had become the backup. And, you know, when they drafted him in the third round, they drafted him to be the guy in the future. And if you remember correctly, you know, the round earlier, they took James Washington as a receiver from Oklahoma State. Uh, you know, so Pittsburgh was looking towards life after Big Ben. Uh, they probably didn't want it nearly as soon as this happened, uh, you know, but so they're going to be without him for a few weeks. And that's I don't necessarily think that's going to be a bad thing. Um, you know, in the short term, it's going to take some getting used to. Uh, you know, obviously, Rudolph hasn't run with the ones nearly as much. You know, the familiarity with Washington may be there, but, you know, Juju's their biggest threat. He is their best receiver. Um, we saw when he came in, in relief of Ben this last weekend, you know, Vance McDonald got a little more love. Um, so you Vance McDonald truthers out there will probably be excited about that. Uh, moving forward, I would expect Mason Rudolph to, you know, kind of look for that security blanket, which is going to be, you know, running backs out of the backfield, tight end, things like that, uh, until they really open up that offense and let him go. The nice thing about Rudolph is even going back to his time at Oklahoma State, he was a 63% passer on average. You know, he, he completed a decent amount of passes. Uh, he's got a big arm. He can, you know, he may not be able to let it rip like old school Ben, uh, but he's got a good arm and he can make a lot of those throws. Uh, you know, we have to temper our expectations in the short term and hope that he can develop chemistry and rapport with, with those guys. Um, you Dante Moncrief fans out there, I would probably, um, well, no one here at Roto Heat's really a Moncrief fan, so I don't really know what to tell you about him other than if you had him, mm, you probably should have got rid of him before the season started. He's not looked good in two weeks, um, and I don't anticipate him looking very good in the, in the long term with uh, Mason Rudolph at the helm. You know, uh, Washington, I would expect, it will be a little harder to gauge, but they have some familiarity, familiarity and they, they trust each other, so that may be an option. He may, uh, you know, boom a little bit more. Uh, but I think it's Juju is, is going to be the one that we're going to need to be careful with. You know, you drafted him in the first or second round probably, and uh, it's hard to sit him, but you're going to want to be careful with him the next few weeks until we see what happens. Uh, you know, Vance McDonald... And, and we got to know what happens with the, the James Conner injury, how, how long that is. You know, if they don't have a, a real good running attack to help set up the pass and give Rudolph some, some, uh, some time uh, to set the pass up with the run, then that could be dangerous for the guy as he's developing with this, uh, with this offense. So uh, good luck. If you don't have Rudolph and you were a big bet owner, uh, you know, definitely go out and try to get him. You're probably going to have to drop a big chunk of your, your money because there's been a lot of quarterback injuries. Um, so, you know, Bridgewater, Rudolph, you know, uh, Gardner Minshew from last week, you know, these are guys that are getting heavily targeted and, and spent a lot of money on in the free agent money. Uh, you know, if he's on your waiver wire, you know, try to scoop him up and make sure you got a backup plan just in case because, you know, this year's just been crazy, lots of injuries. So be careful out there. Good luck and uh, bye, Rudolph. Don't forget. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any more fantasy football content from the rotoheat.com team. Also, right there, playlist. Hit it. Watch the videos. Do it. You want to. Do it.